cold. I'm just gonna wait for people to join because I don't see anything yet. I don't know why I have a piece of hair that always just does that. Hi guys. Um, I've been saying um too often. I'm gonna answer some questions. I said that was like the first story post. If you didn't know already, I've been taking over the U Netflix page all day. I guess I should just start because you guys have been asking so many questions. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna get to them all, but let's see. Okay. Favorite scene with Joe. I really like, I like the social media scene. I like the hey creep scene, scene where I'm like, hey, do me a favor instead of Delilah, anything else. I'm censoring it for the live. Um, that was a pretty great scene. It was just fun because like at that point, in our relationship, we had established that we were friends. And also later on in that scene, Delilah and Ellie discuss how much they like Joe, which I find very sweet. But then also the burn in hell scene, of course. And also, hold on. Should I save this live? There was a question up here that I, I'll click on it. Hardest scene to film was the burn in hell scene. And the reason why I say that is because it was the last scene that I had ever shot and we were rushing. I think we were a little behind in our schedule. So we shot that scene in like less than an hour, super quick. And it's a lot of pressure because, you know, there, Ellie f learned so much information. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time speaking, but she has to absorb all this information in, in such a quick manner and then is told to ditch her entire life, which is a lot to put on a 15, basically 16 year old. James, I love you. I love you so much. It's crazy. If you guys don't know, 40 is my favorite character. I'm obsessed with James and what he did with 40 is just, I love you. Was it James or am I tripping? I may have just done, yeah, it was James. Okay, I'm just making sure because I just saw. Will you be in season three? I wish I could tell you the answer. I'm not sure. I think it should be known that not even half the time, most of the time during season two, I had no idea what was going on at all while everyone else did. So in terms of season three, I'm not the person to ask because information does not come to me at all, all the time. Was it exhausting working on you? Like it was hard to incorporate? Uh, I wouldn't say it was hard to become Ellie because I feel like there's so many teenagers like her. She's just very, not to say she's basic, but you know, she's, she's why, but I know people like her and I relate to her in some ways. So becoming Ellie wasn't hard. I think the harder, the harder part of shooting was I guess just energy, the intensity of the set, it, you know, when we're shooting the darker scenes, the more emotional scenes, you know, it changes the, the tone of the set and that can get tiring holding that, that energy for long periods of time. Let's see what else we have. Can I just swipe or do I have to do that thing? Oh, that's annoying. When filming, what did you act? Thank you so much. Um, when filming, what did you do to get into character? I didn't do much, really. I feel it's pretty easy for me to snap in and out of it. Emotional scenes, if I could stay in that emotional state for a little bit, that's gonna help. Like for the 209 breakdown scene, I had been listening to music when I walked on to set and a sad song had just so happened 
to come on. Uh, it was She's Mine Part 1. She's Mine Part 1 had come on. And then I just kept that song on loop. So, like, in between takes, I would put the headphones on so I didn't have to listen to other people's conversations and whatnot. But now I can't listen to that song and not get emotional because I, as soon as I hear the violins in the background, just my eyes water because I connected with that memory of shooting and whatnot. It's ruined the song for me. I don't know what I clicked on. How did it feel switching from a child-friendly role to a more mature audience? It, it was a big change, but it was also a nice change. I've never been on a project like you, and it, it was a learning experience for sure. And especially, I had been out of the drama genre for such a uh, such a long time, it felt. So it was kind of nice getting back into that and learning new things. And um, I don't know, I'm just glad that I could reach a different audience. And, you know, some, as an actor, you never want to be pigeonholed into one category or only seen in a certain light. And I thought it was really amazing that I was given the opportunity to be on you to uh, prevent that from happening. Sorry, I'm just looking for questions. Another season of you is coming 2021, season three, 2021, be aware. So I'm assuming, yeah, shooting starts this year. Which one is your favorite season? Okay, can I be completely honest? I haven't seen all of season two. I've only seen all of season one. I really appreciate my cast, and I love my cast so much on season two. Season one was amazing as well. But I think just knowing my cast members and knowing that they absolutely killed it and brought something to the show without, you know, throwing off the tone and, and just doing such an incredible job, I'm going to say season two. But yeah. I've seen, to clarify, I've seen a lot of season two, but I haven't seen my parts. Actually, like, see, episodes nine and ten, I haven't seen or gone into, and then I've just kind of skipped over my parts. That's all I gotta say about that. Tell us more about how angelic Robin is. All I'm going to say is, when I met him at the table read, he has the most infectious smile, and I swear it's like a little halo of light surrounds him at all times. That's all. What episode of you is your favorite? If we're doing season one, I'm going to say episode six. And the reason why I say episode six is because during the second act, there's a moment where... Pen or Joe just gets in a, he had just gotten in a car accident and he wakes up and there's this eerie music playing and I don't know why but I felt like that described the tone of the show and it, it fit perfectly with uh, the the vibe they were trying to give off I don't know it, I just love it so much and then for episode season 2 I'm going to say episode 208 which is the acid trip episode when I read that I could not wait. Filming that was so fun. Do you guys know the part? I mean, I'm assuming everybody on here has already seen. If not, I may spoil something for you. But the the scene where James jumps out of the window. <laughs> we were filming that. We had to cut because Penn and I were laughing so hard. J James's first take on that was hilarious. And then obviously stunts comes in and they're like oh it might it may be safer for you to do it like this or and then they're like hey jane you know not necessarily stunts but then the director is like hey try falling like this try whatever i think they ended up using the first take 
but it was so funny. Like you had to be there. I could not believe. <laughs> and Penn and I were just like, what happened? And then they're like, Penn, Jenna, we're like, okay, okay, okay. And then they had to cut because we couldn't keep ourselves together. That was hilarious. But also the special effects, like when Love's eyes get all big and the the whole trip within itself is insane. That was funny. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Did you know Penn from Gossip Girl, or was it your first time seeing him? I have not seen Gossip Girl. I have not seen Gossip Girl, so you was the first time I had seen Penn. At least I think. Maybe I saw him in something else, I'm not sure. Were some parts filmed in real places, or just sets? Uh, yeah, we filmed both. I know the sets were, um, that piece of hair is bugging me so much. Sets were the cage, uh, the interior of our department, the interior of Joe slash Will's apartment, uh, Love's room. Was it Love's room or Penn's room? Whatever room had the white flower above it. Um... I know those were sets, but then exterior of our apartment building, I showed you guys earlier, certain montage bits like the library or when we shot at theaters, there's a scene with Ellie and Delilah hugging outside of a theater that was a real place. It just, it just depends. I feel like a lot of exterior were done uh, on, on location, and if we could build sets, then we would build sets. Were you surprised by the ending of you when you found out? All right, let me... So earlier I said I didn't know what was happening during season two because everybody at the beginning of the season was pulled aside and told what was happening with their character. So they were pulled aside Victoria, tell her what would happen, pulled aside Penn. Penn is the only one who knew absolutely everything. Everybody else got bits and pieces, just pieces that were relevant to their storyline and their character arc. They told me, hey, Jenna, we're going to pull you aside at some point later today. This was during... The camera test and then we're gonna the writers gonna have a conversation with you so i was like oh cool i'm about to find out conversation never happened and then the rest of the time i'm asking my castmates i'm asking writers and they're like oh we don't know if we could tell you this information we're sorry Ooh, do you, are you allowed to know this i don't know i'm not gonna say anything it wasn't until episode 209 we were shooting episode 209 and i found out what was happening through carmella because um, someone had told Carmela's storyline had already reached its, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. So she was talking to me about it. I felt like I had just been punched in the gut. And what I do have to say is I have to give so much credit to Victoria. Because if Victoria did not portray love the way that she did, uh, you know, everything is very calculated. The twist at the end would not have would not have been as successful or would not have read the same way she because like that could go wrong very quickly but i think yeah, she just did such an incredible job victoria is such a powerhouse i said this earlier but i'm saying it again because i feel it needs emphasis 40 James Scully, my favorite character. He is hilarious, he has the best one-liners, and he's real, and his character development is impeccable. He had like one of the greatest story, like, story arcs. I read the first book. I started to read the second book, but then I stopped because I didn't want it to confuse me from what we were doing while we were filming because we strayed away from the second book more. Whereas the first one was a little bit more truthful to the first book. Mm -hmm. 
What's your favorite line in season two? Hmm. This is hard. There's so many good ones. And I'll try not to say 41 because, again, 40 has the best lines. I'll try to think of an Ellie one. Um, I loved... What the hell do I say? Well, there's that one scene where it's like, you want to know who else she's, she's slept with? Half the fucking cast of Sesame Street. That's a good one. And that entire, oh, you're so protective, you're so kind, you're like my daddy. I feel like that's a that's a cool moment. And then I also like, again, laundromat scene where I come in and I'm like, hey, do me a favor instead of Delilah, fuck anything else. Cool? <sighs> Sometimes she was mean, though. Somebody asked me earlier, I missed it, but I saw it. I saw it, but I didn't click on it. Somebody asked me, like, what was one of Ellie's most savage moments. Honestly, when she walked in on Delilah and Joe, Will... It was like, why do you have to be such a slut? When I had to say that, man, that hurt. You can't look someone who is a literal ray of sunshine in the eye and tell them, why do you have to be such a slut? That's what Carmela is. And that was honestly probably the most difficult thing I had to do all season. I love Carmela so much. She's just the greatest. Everyone needs a Carmela. In my life. How did acting in you shape you as an actress? Well, again, I hadn't been doing dramatic or, you know, thriller genre projects. So it was all very new to me. And then also come, you know, going that long period of time without that practice and exercise in that genre. I was very nervous because I, it's almost like I felt I forgot how to act. So the entire season is like me just trying to figure out, oh, how do you, how do you do this again? Or how should I say this? Or how it was all very, uh, it was an exploration into an unknown land for me, which was exciting. And I'm glad that I, again, people keep asking me, what was my favorite part about shooting? Favorite part is I got to work with some of the most talented people I've ever met in my life. That from the crew members to the cast members, everybody was so hardworking and 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 so so gifted at what they at what they do and handled everything with such grace and just are such inspiring people to look up to. I I truly was surrounded by the best and I think you know when when you practice and you train with the best, um, it definitely elevates your your performance or whatnot. I don't know. I can't say because I haven't seen it. I hate watching myself. Watching myself is a personal hell. Never. I just can't. If I watch it, then I'm... I, actually, they sent me the first few episodes in advance, and halfway through the first episode, I stopped and I started crying because I was like, I can't. I can't do this. I don't know how much longer this live should be. We'll see. We will see. How did you prepare for the audition? I got the audition the day after I'd finished watching the first season. I watched the show when it was still on Lifetime. So I read the sides over. I did them the way I thought I wanted to do them. And then I referred back to certain scenes or certain episodes of season one just to make sure that I, I got the tone of the show, uh, the tone of the show right. And that was pretty much it. I just made sure I knew those lines. And my audition scenes were... I know you guys didn't ask for this, but I found this interesting. My audition scenes were... The opening scene, where I'm like, oh, do you have a girlfriend? Uh, and then... They wrote a scene, a separate scene, talking about the storyline with my mom and my dad. And it turns out it was completely fake and had nothing to do with the real scene. But, um... It would give me, like, Norman Bates vibes, but not necessarily from Ellie, just because she's such a big movie buff. And clearly she's referring to Psycho as, like, a joke, but it, it was weird. But that's what I thought was true. And I didn't know that Delilah was my sister. That wasn't originally... That wasn't a thing. But 
one of the writers suggested that we be related, and that's how that turned out. I don't know why my ears bothered me. Maybe the ears are crazy. I'm gonna stop playing with it, I promise. How do you remember your lines? I have a photographic memory, so all I really have to do is read over the lines once or twice, sometimes out loud if I really need it, and then I'm pretty much good. Something that helps though, and this goes for like acting as well, as long as you're really listening to the other person and what they have to say, everything becomes so easy. Because then it's genuine reaction or or even like if you're having trouble with a line and somebody's asking you a question, it's not gonna be difficult because if you listen to what they're asking you, you remember, oh, this is the answer, you know? What do you, what do you do to get this role? I just auditioned. I only auditioned one time and I was actually the first person in the room. Cause when I got the audition, because I was such a big fan of the show, I called my agents and I said, I need to be here, like, as soon as possible. So that's how that happened. Do I think Ellie and I are similar? I think in some ways. I think we have very similar thought processes. I kind of wish I could be Ellie in the in the sense that she's way more bold than I am and she says some things that I would not say. Not saying she's always appropriate or correct, but it's just a fun, I don't know, life just seems kind of fun the way she lives. Until Joe, of course. Um, I do think that we kind of give off the same vibe at times. Depends on my mood and whatnot, but yeah, I definitely think she's she's a little bit more out there than I am. And that's okay. But we both do aspire to be directors, which I thought was really cool and was a fun touch. How do I go? Did you ever forget your lines? I don't think so. I've never been the actor to shout line, you know, I, I usually, plus I didn't have too many lines on you. I, you know, they would be shooting an episode for two weeks and I would be there two, out of, two three, four days out of the 10 days that they were shooting. So I just made sure I showed up to set prepared. And as long as you're prepared, everything comes pretty naturally, pretty normally. I may have stumbled though, but that's just me not using my mouth correctly. Did you feel intimidated going into the show? 100%, 100%. Before we did the first table read, the director wanted to do a mini table read. So it's gonna be my first time meeting Penn, Victoria, James, etc., Carmela. And I think that's all that was there during the first table read, actually. But it was like this practice read. We go in, I'm freaking out because I realized, you know, hey, this may be a test. What if I go in there and there's producers, whatever, listening, and I completely embarrass myself and they fire me? So. Yeah, I was scared. I seriously thought I was gonna get fired. But the table read ended up going great and everyone was really sweet. And I think after that first table read, I became really excited. But it definitely took some getting used to. Favorite memory from behind the scenes when me and Penn had a 30 minute conversation about memes and how they're a universal language. So no matter where you come from, no matter which language you speak, everybody can understand a meme. Poetic, that man. An enigma. It 
was eye-opening, really. <laughs> How close are you and Ellie in age? When we shot, I was 16. She was 15, basically 16. I'm 17 now. I don't know when her birthday is. So, I mean, we're like a year apart, a year and a half. Almost two, or I guess almost two. I don't know, I can't do math. Pretty close. I don't know what I just clicked on. I'm so bad at navigating this. Oh, will we get to see bloopers from the show? I hope so. When we were at the rap party, should I? Do I have photos from the rap party? I may have posted photos of me and James at the rap party. I hope so because they put together this really funny blooper reel and it was perfect. And I remember James turning to me and saying like, if that blooper reel is any indication of what our season is going to look like, we're going to be just fine. Because we all were so nervous, especially when you're joining something that has so much hype, I guess you could say, because season one uh, got a lot of attention. So to hop onto the second season, you know, people obviously are expecting a lot from you and you have more eyes on you. So there's there's less room for failure and mistakes. It's very scary. And it's the thing about rapping, you know, a project is as soon as they yell rap, you're done. You can't go back. You can't fix things. It is the way it is. And then you have to sit on it and think about, man, what could I have done better? Did I do this probably? Could I have tried harder? For months and months until the project comes out. So, that was scary. But yes, I hope we get to see bloopers. I hope. I can't tell you. I don't know. Season 3 is coming 2021. Becker Love. Now listen, if I'm speaking like Ellie, obviously it's going to be Beck, because she doesn't know Beck, but she knows that love is dirty. Me personally, I wasn't a big fan of Beck. I'm a huge fan of Elizabeth Leo, who played her. She did an incredible job. She's great. But her character was just annoying to me. And I think that kind of helps you like Joe even more. But in this situation, knowing what Love has done and knowing how crazy she is, I'm going to say Beck. Because, I, you know, she wasn't killing people, you know? I don't know why I'm whispering. At this point, if you haven't watched it, get on it. I'm spoiling things, so... What's it like working with Carmela? So most of my scenes were either with Carmela and Penn. I've talked about working with Penn. Carmela, I've talked about her personality and whatnot, but Carmela and I clicked instantly. Immediately sisters. There wasn't even there was nothing that we had to do. Any type of banter or, or Whatever it is that we did, it was, none of it was worse. Like, it all came naturally to us because it was it was just there. It was like we had known each other for forever. So working with her was a piece of cake. It was so easy, and she is so... She's beautiful in any every way, shape, and form, including her talent. She's just... She's an incredible scene partner. Incredibly sweet. Super professional. And I think it's just everything that you would want from an actress that you cast in a project of yours. Truly. Carmela is the best. The 
favorite set. I like shooting exterior at our apartment, so where I was earlier today. I like shooting there. It was really sweet because our apartment building, you know how like you open our front door and it leads to our kitchen? That's not really how it was. It opened up to an empty room and a woman lived in that apartment. And the first time we started shooting there, she would leave out little cups of water. Then the next time it was like bottles of Evian. And then the next time it was like she had snack tables. And then the next time she had meals, like she was always so excited for us to come and would have all this stuff out. It was just really sweet. So creating a bond with that woman was really cool. But I can say this because I never shot on it. The cage set, I thought was incredibly cool. But according to all the other actors, they said that shooting on that stage was the worst. It became incredibly exhausting because the lights are dim. You're shooting intense scenes. It's just dark. And it's not where you want to spend 12 hours of your day every day. You know, it's like to remain idle in that room is a lot. Imagine actually being locked in the box. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to go for like a couple more minutes and then I feel like I don't really have much to offer because these are all pretty similar <laughs> someone said i use vaseline now because of you i'm telling you it's the greatest that's what i put on every night every day every night before i go to bed Opinions of Joe and Ellie's relationship toxic. I mean to an extent to an extent because the reason why I say it's toxic is I know That Joe wants to form this relationship with Ellie. Of course. He begins to really care for her But his intention behind it is like hey If I could be a superhero to this girl if I could be a father figure to her to make her life better that makes me a good person and he uses it justifies his violent actions which i don't agree with at all but at the at the same time i do feel i don't know necessarily that ellie needed someone like joe but it's really beneficial for her to have somebody as supportive as joe on her side you know and joe's a ride or die man he would do anything <laughs> How do you think Florida is treating Ellie? I don't know. And here's my thing. Is Ellie still in Florida? I don't know. Like, I'm curious to see how much time will have passed when you season three starts. Because for her to stay in Florida the entire time. Like, I wonder if she gets bored and she moves around or. I think she's doing fine, but she's definitely traumatized. Definitely. I feel like if we were to see her again, there would be pieces of her that were still there, but it also is... Pain creates like a new... You can't grow without pain. And the amount of pain that she has dealt with, I think in this short period of time, definitely changed her character and definitely has changed who she is, how she acts, whatnot. you look so different with lip fillers i don't have lip fillers i don't know who told you i did but that would be crazy i don't care to do stuff like that to my face it's just not me i'm mexican and i'm puerto rican show us some bts pics so i posted some on my story earlier but I you guys, I used so many BTS pics when the show first came out because I didn't know that I was going to be asked to do a takeover. So I was like, oh, let me just like shoot these all out really quick. And now I'm like, I'm searching for stuff right now. Ugh, 
So, I mean, I guess I could go back and look at my old stories from then, and if I find some really good things, I might repost them on this story, but I'm going to keep looking. We'll see. And I think here, unless, I mean, I'll exit off of this, and then if you guys have any, have any last-minute questions, let me know, and I'm happy to answer. Otherwise, I'll get off and leave you be. I'll keep looking for BTS and whatnot, and then I'll wrap my day. That's all. Netflix should give you a movie. Well, I'm, I've actually, I'm in the middle of shooting a movie for Netflix now. We've been doing night shoots. So I'm kind of tired because I just didn't sleep last night. I've been doing night shoots all week. But I'm shooting a movie called Yes Day starring Jennifer Garner, Edgar Ramirez, me, uh, Julian Lerner, Everly Carganella. And then... I'm a part of, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, you may have. There's a movie on Netflix called The Babysitter. I'm a part of the sequel. I, which I believe is set to be released this year, but I can't tell you. I, I don't know. That's all. Alright. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll save this and then I'll probably delete it later. Thank you so much for joining me. Please stay tuned because I may have some other stuff that you might like on here. Also, I wanted to say really quickly how appreciative I am of how kind people have been, especially knowing how how difficult I am on myself. It's really hard for me to accept compliments and whatnot. So I think the the reaction, it I feel like I can't put into words, there's not enough words to express how grateful I am towards everyone who has given the show such support and have given me support it was uh, i'm pleasantly surprised it was unexpected and um i find it really endearing and and really sweet so i appreciate you guys thank you so much talk to you guys later if you like the show watch it again wait because there's a third season coming so make sure that you're up on your knowledge that's all thank you guys so much i'm glad that you like the show i'll talk to y'all later